What's up everybody? This is Tony M. Sicklets back with another video. So in this video we're going to talk about some of the fish that I keep that are endangered. Um, the ACA in Houston was all about endangered fish and preservation of the hobby and what we're going to do for these species to make sure they're around for years to come for for new fish keepers, young fish keepers when we're not around um, to still be able to work with these fish. So I'm going to go through and show you some of the species that I keep that are on the CARES list. Um, that are vulnerable from being extinct in the wild or critically endangered. So let's go check them out. So here's one of the first species that I have. These guys are Alanacar on my landy, or the soft red peacock they're called. So this is my breeding group. This is two males and seven females. This is a great group. Um, I picked them up from another breeder who was getting out of fish, so I was able to obtain them and. I don't plan. I plan on keeping them for as long as I can because they are critically, or they are actually vulnerable. They're fairly beautiful males. They're a little skittish on the camera, of course. There's the dom. There's one of the males, and there's the other one. And then I have some females holding, I believe. There's one over there that's holding. There's another one. So these guys are in a 75 gallon tank with some universal rocks background and universal rocks, stackable rocks. Um, that I just put in there a couple days ago. As far as the rocks, the background's been in there for about a month. So let's go check out the other ones I have. All right, so same thing as the sulfur head. These guys are also vulnerable. These are the Alanacara candanisi or the blue orchid peacocks. So this group is like four or five females and the rest males. Um, but these males got some awesome color. You can see at such a young age. Again, they're freaking out because of the camera. But these guys are uh, these guys came from another breeder, Sean James in Kentucky, a while ago. So this is the second batch that I've I've raised off uh, fish from him that I spread around to to make sure other hobbyists can enjoy. There's a male just fired up right there in the back. Make sure other hobbyists can enjoy some of these fish that are are vulnerable in the wild. We don't need to have them imported to keep them around. We need to just make sure as long as we make sure we breed them pure. We don't crossbreed them and we keep nice quality breeding stock around, then this fish can be around and, and look as pretty as ever um, for many years to come. There's a couple other, there's another male. There's a couple more back there that are just hanging out. So let's go check out a couple more species I have. All right, here from Lake Victoria, we have a Hepachromus theraterian. So there's two males in this group. There's one there and there's one back there. These guys are critically endangered. Majority of all the Victorian cichlids that are around in the hobby are critically endangered or some are even extinct. A lot of that is due to, due to the induction of the Nile perch that um, happened in Lake Victoria many many years ago. So there's a female holding back there. So these guys I call the uh, Cipachromus of Lake Victoria. If anybody's kept Cipachromus, um, I do have some but you know how slender they are, long and slender. Um, the majority of your haplochromuses get thick and thick bodied and tall shape and these guys stay slender and long like the uh, Cipachromus so again I call them the Cipachromus of Lake Victoria. So this is my Hapachromus theraterian group and let's go check out a couple more groups. So down here we have some Hapachromus uh, hippo point salmons. These guys again are also from Lake Victoria which are critically endangered. Uh, my, my, my group down here is way lopsided. I need to find another breeder with some more females, but my group has like five males and two females in it. I just got the luck of the draw when I grew them up. So there's the two females there, and there's one of my dominant males there. Another one there, kind of like, I got some giant Daniels in there as dithers, but uh, great looking fish. I haven't really got any production out of them. A lot of big spawn small, but these guys I've struggled with, I think. I need more females, as I said, my ratio is pretty pretty bad. And then another group I got, um, I just got a hold of them not too long ago, which I won't show, they're just in a holding tank. I got to set them up in a breeding tank. There's an Entrochromus periopus again. So I used to have a breeding group of those back in the day. Um, I used to have five males, seven females, and a 40 breeder. Great group of fish, but I moved them on to somebody, another hobbyist to work with. And I ended up getting some fry back just not too long ago from the same group because 
I'm going back to uh, some Lake Victoria and Lake Malawi cichlids, so I'm trying to work with some more that are critically endangered or vulnerable of going extinct in the wild. And this is another group of Lake Victorian cichlids I used to breed a while back. I've got a hold of some more from another breeder. And I do have fry now from these guys. These are Mysteriochromus awadi. So I do have two males and one, two, five females. So there's one of the there's the dominant male. He's gonna go if I take off and no, nope, he's alright. So there's the dominant male, there's a subdominant somewhere around there. Um, these guys just got moved this past weekend into the sporty breeder. And I did pull a fry from them before I moved them, so that's a good sign. So hopefully I have some more uh, females holding here soon to get some more fry out of this group. I just wanted to go through and show you some of the fish that I keep and why I keep them, because they are critically endangered or vulnerable of becoming extinct. So we can all do our part as breeders and dedicate a tank or two tanks even to some of these species to make sure we keep them around forever. Um, there is a lot of efforts going on lakeside to breed these fish as far as um, the endangered ones, the Pseudotrophy solosi, which are now Chidunga solosi, but those were those are being bred uh, lakeside and those have been released into Lake Malawi to the Taiwanese Reef. However, there's been a lot of chatter or there was the past year or so about them being released and come to find out it sounds like a lot of those were collected again so they're no longer there. Even though breeding is being done on the lake and we really got to make sure that we release the fish back into the lake at the right time or maybe we maybe they're never released into the lake but they're available and bred bat side so at least they're around for, for many years to come still. So with that please check out caresforfish.org I'll put a link in the description but caresforfish.org has the designation species if you look at cichlids or other other species or other um, genres I guess you could say that are extinct or, or vulnerable being extinct. Uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you subscribe, please hit the notification bell. I appreciate all the support and I'll talk to you next time.